It was on Monday, the 10th of October 2022, when Jonathan Lelenguya, 23-year-old night guard, reported to his place of work along Mombasa Road. Little did he know that was his last day alive. It is alleged that Jonathan was mauled by security dogs to death, dogs that are said to have jumped the wall of the adjusted company to where he was working. Leo hii tumeungana na familia Jonathan Lelenguya, ambaye ni mkenya, mwenye alikuwa anafanya kazi ya askari ama watchman kwenye kampuni moja hapa Mombasa Road na kwa bahati mbaya tumepata ujumbe kwamba umbwa kutoka kwa kampuni jirani lilimvamia kumuuma mara kadhaa na kumuua According to the postmortem report conducted at the city mortuary here in Nairobi the disease suffered at least 55 bites of blood vessels from the head the hands limbs and he died due to excessive bleeding while on his way to the hospital On his part the human rights defender Frederick Ojiro said that the company should take responsibility Na katika postmortem report hizo umbwa zilimuuma kwenye kichwa zikamuuma kwenye miguu zikamunya muma kwenye limb za chini na kwa sababu ya ile bleeding over bleeding jamaa alikufa wakati alipofikishwa hospitali kwa hivyo sisi tunasema kwamba hizi umbo hazikuwa zenye hii kampuni yenye jamaa alikuwa anafanyia bali ilizikuwa za kampuni jirani lakini kampuni jirani wakati uko na umbo za aina hiyo kwa nini usiweke fence that can guard, uh, uh, guard as, a, as, a, as a security buffer why do you put a short fence na unajua uko na umbo hatarini ya pili pia tumeona kwamba katika the crime scene kampuni yenyewe ambayo umbwa zake zimeua huyu kijana sasa zimeinterfere na crime scene na zikaweka ato, uh, ato la fence kwa hivyo hiyo tunasema is interference with the crime scene and we are demanding that the investigative agency come to this issue and arrest these individuals who are trying to interfere with the crime scene Ojiro added that no one has so far been arrested or questioned yet it is one week after the incident happened he alleged that other night guards who witnessed the incident are forced not to utter a word on what happened on that fateful day hakuna yoyote ambaye ameitwa na hata kufungulwa mashtaka kwa ajili ya haya mauaji jambo lingine pia tuko na familia hapa vile naona na wame Lia wakisema kwamba wenzao ambao pia walikuwa wanafanya kazi kama maskari pale wanahujumiwa wananyamazishwa na mapolisi na wenye kampuni ile wasiseme ukweli ambao walishuhudia wenyewe According to the brother of the disease it is very unfortunate to have lost their king in such a gruesome way adding that they just want justice to prevail for the family Sasa tulishangaa sana kusikia ndugu yetu alifariki ikiwa na mainjari ya umbwa kwa hiyo mali yenye ndio alikuwa wanafanya kazi tulikuwa tuliongea na jamaa mbeleni wakasema iko umbwa yenyewe yenye kwa hatari kwa hiyo kambani hiyo kambani inaitwa swami sasa yeye kulingana na mimi kupigiwa simu kufariki kwake nisikia amewawa na maumbo sasa kuja kwa kuja kwa hii mosha niliona ya kwamba jamaa yenyewe aliumiswa sana sana sababu jamaa kwa na mainjari mkono ameuma mkono nyama hakuna kichwa ameshikwa huko kwa miguu kwa na maalama kabisa sasa sisi kama familia tunanilia haki ya kijana yetu On their part the family noted that they have reported the matter to the police and also the DCI but so far nothing has come forth hoping that they will get justice for their brother Bwana mbwa on Monday tarehe 10 alafu akapeleka hospitali he passed wakati alikuwa anapeleka hospitali So tukakuja leo hapa kufanya postmortem yake na pia tulipeana ripoti kwa polisi na DCI alafu mpaka saa hii hatuna ripoti yote ambayo imetolewa kuhusu kuhusu hiyo kesi na pia tulikuwa tunaomba serikali to pay justice we only want justice to be done and then sasa 
familia ipate haki yao kulingana na Frederick Ojiro, however, has maintained that they will stand with the family to make sure that justice is served and also urged companies that have security dogs to follow the law and the safety measures required. Tunasimama, Sawia, Imara, Kidete, na familia hii, tukotayari kujitolea kuapatia mawakili na tutafuatilia ili tuakikishe kuamba wenye hii kampuni na wenye wana miliki haya jibwa wameshikwa na wamefunguliwa mashtaka na tuhakikisha kwamba hii familia imepata haki haraka iwezekanavyo kwa hivyo sisi tunaomba aipoa waingilie hii maneno tutawaandikia barua rasmi kwa hivyo iko ujumbe kamili kwamba kuna mapolisi ambao wanatetea katika kazi wenyewe sasa wamegeuka wanataka kufunika hii kesi na pia tutaandikia rasmi internal affairs unit ili wachunguze hao officers ambao wameshindwa kutekeleza kutekeleza haki kwa familia reporting for ibru tv my name is winnie maganga